is right up to 115. This is the area I'm targeting. I'm looking for 119, 120 plus, okay? I want to target up here. There it goes, 117. Look at that breakout, guys. Look at, uh, here we go, naked, okay? Back to 118. Well, possibly, let's see if we can break out above here, okay? Okay, 119 is a heavy resistance, okay? You can see uh, we didn't really break above it in the pre-market and yesterday uh, trading, we couldn't get above it, okay? But this is uh, this is a really powerful candle, okay? So you caught that, that was good, man. See how it, you caught that consolidation? You saw it was building a nice support. 110 is a beautiful buy in there, okay? So you've already made 10 cents, okay? And on a dollar stock, guys, you could buy easily 1,000 shares, okay? For a thousand bucks. 1,000 shares. It goes up 10 cents. You just made $100 US right there on that one minute candle. This is a like in one, two, three minutes, you could make $100 US right there in a couple minutes. Okay. But what if this thing starts breaking out to $1.30, $1.40? Okay. Think about guys that are buying, I'm buying big shares on this one, like uh, buy 25,000 shares on a 10 cent move you can make potentially $2,500, okay? So that's the power of these stocks. Okay, so we're getting to this 119. See the rejection wick? But what we wanna see is we don't wanna see the momentum die and this candle come all the way down. We wanna see it start building a nice little support in here and then continue moving up, okay? So guys, naked could be squeezing. This one has a lot of short interest, okay? Remember GameStop and AMC, those ones have had their runs. This one really hasn't had its run. The other day, like look at the daily candles, guys. Let me show you this one. This is why I'm watching this one every single day and I'm trading it, okay? So look at here, when we broke out of here, this thing was 50 cents, guys, 50 cents. We broke out, these are daily candles now. So from when we broke out of 50 cents, it came all the way up to $1.50, okay? And then next day, it came down back to, found some support at $1.12. That's $1.10 where you're looking at. That's why it's good support level. And then look at where it went up that day to $3.40, okay? Okay. I want to see if this thing can revisit this level soon, okay? But then you see a massive sell-off come all the way down. It bottomed out at 74. I grabbed shares in here again when at 74, and then I loaded it again at a dollar, okay? And it came now to a dollar 47. This was just um, when I was trading it, okay? That day when I made that six thousand dollars was right here this day, okay? And then it sold off. Came back down to here, dollar oh five. This is where we're at, and now it's starting to build a little bit. But this green line, we got to get above it. We got to get daily candles. See the daily candles? We got to get the daily candle above this green line so that we can reattempt this dollar forty seven and break out above there. We break out above there, we can get the price action back to dollar eighty eight. We can get price action up here to two dollars and twenty five cents. And then look at this big wick we can fill. If we start getting this price, this is where we can squeeze the shorts right up here. And then price, if we break out of three thirty, oh man, there's there's no limits where this thing can go. We could, this thing could possibly go five, ten, fifteen dollars on a on a short squeeze. Seventy five percent of the float is on short interest. This thing could go like a rocket. Okay, that's why I'm continuing to watch this thing daily. Okay, so that's the daily chart right there. So you can see now, so we're building a little bit of support up here at that one, at that green line, okay? That's why I highlighted it for you guys, okay? This is a critical resistance. We need to break above it. See how we broke above it? That wick got up to uh, $1.19, $1.20. It came down, but we need to break above. Remember, just like when we're trading Forex, guys, we need to get the candle action above resistance, build a little support, maybe get a retest, and then we can start moving up, okay? Step by step. But it all started with this barcode action, okay? Um, so when you enter, that's the trapping gap strategy. Same thing we teach you guys.